Welcome back to Suvida Everything, guys. You saw the thumbnail. Today is going to be a nice day in the office. Check it out. Believe it or not, this is not Wagyu. I know it looks like it, but it's not. These are short ribs. As you can see, the top two are not the same as the one on the bottom. And sometimes you get really lucky and you get a piece like this. When you get this kind of marbling, you gotta treat it differently. And instead of making it fall apart tender, today I'm shooting for a texture of a steak. I started off by removing some of the silver skin that the butchers left. I want this as clean as possible. Once all was removed, here's what it looks like. Just like a steak, I'm seasoning it with salt, pepper, and garlic powder. The one thing that I'm doing it differently than a steak is now I'm going to smoke it. I'm setting up my smoker to the slowest smoking settings, which is 145 degrees Fahrenheit. And for the wood, I'm using hickory. Right after two hours, we got a beautiful smoke on it. Once I pull that out of the smoker, check it out. The deep mahogany colony is an indication that the smoke penetrated deeply into the meat. And that's what we're looking for. Next step is pretty straightforward. I'm gonna bag it up and cook it sous vide. Keep in mind that you have bones. And whenever I have bones, I always like to double bag it. You really don't have to, but sometimes insurances is good. To complement this even more, I'm doing a surf and turf. And I'm using these beautiful shrimps. I threw in a little bit of avocado oil, threw in my shrimp and cooked them in high heat. When cooking shrimp, stir them around until you get a nice color. Then I season them with salt freshly ground black pepper and some smoked paprika. Mix it well until they're fully cooked. Once that's done, remove it from the pan and throw in some salted butter to deglaze the pan. Deglaze means to remove that goodness that was stuck into the pan. That's all flavor, you want that out. Be sure to put it in low heat. Then I throw in some minced garlic, got a nice golden brown color on them. Threw in a bunch of diced cherry tomatoes. Remember, exact amount and ingredients always on the description down below. Add in some baby spinach and mix it well. Season it well with salt, freshly ground black pepper. Throw in some Parmesan cheese and mix it well and be sure to deglaze everything from the pan. Once you've noticed your spinach has reduced to almost nothing, throw in some heavy whipping cream. Add your shrimp and let the sauce thicken under low heat. Once you get the consistency you're happy with, finish it off with some organic chives and your shrimp is done. I'm shooting for a steak-like texture on these ribs and I'm cooking them at 160 degrees Fahrenheit for two days. We got our beautiful short ribs ready. We are starving and it is time to take it out. Let's do it. Well, I must say myself, everybody, it smells absolutely incredible. Not only that, that smell of smoke coming through and it's throughout the entire office right now it smells absolutely amazing but like i said i am going to be treating these beautiful short ribs like a steak and like always we're gonna go outside and sear them look they're not falling apart completely so they do they do have a little bit of texture on them and does the bone come out oh yeah so we're gonna remove the bones so we can get, I don't want them to fall apart completely. As you guys can see, I will be removing all of them and we're gonna treat them like a steak. And I know they don't look that good right now, but watch this. All right, everybody, as you can see, it looks absolutely beautiful. Ninja, are you ready to try it? You look amazing. All right, so we have some nice, beautiful short ribs together with some shrimp. Enough talking, let's give it a try, yeah? If are you ready? Short ribs rolling down. Short ribs is always, and bring your plate over here, Ninja. I don't want to make a mess. And with these things here, you we really don't want to let it, any of it go to waste. So tender. Tell me. Ridiculous. Uh -huh. Wow. Let me enjoy it, bro. Enjoy it, bro. Enjoy it, bro. How does it taste? We want to know. We are curious to find out. Super tender, awesome short ribs. Do you feel the smokiness? 
I feel this muckness. Now, <laughs> I got a question for you. Yeah? Are these better than Texans short ribs? If these are better than Texas, well, I haven't tried it yet. I don't know. It's better than Franklin's short ribs. Well, I don't know. I'll be the judge of that very shortly. Like I was saying, some people actually eat uh, the shrimp with the actual uh, part. No, I don't, but a lot of people Open do. Your mouth. No, I'm okay. I'm just saying. <laughs> Can you believe it? Some people, a lot of people actually do that. If right. you fry it, I eat it. No problem at all. But not like that. No, I don't like the tail either. Go Let's for go it, for it, man. Tell me how does it taste all together. <laughs> wow. Huh? Is it a good combination? I mean, we don't have anything else. We don't have an experiment here today, so I'm gonna give it to it. <laughs> Are you ready for this one? Hold on, let me swallow. <laughs> it is delicious, bro. This is awesome, bro. So pretend it's a short rib, huh? Short ribs are my second favorite. Yeah, I agree with you too. Short ribs is very difficult to cut, everybody. You have to have an extremely sharp knife when you're cutting it. At the same time, be very, very patient. Are you all right, bro? Everything's exploding over there? <laughs> Nobody saw that. Exploding with flavor. <laughs> all right, let's give it a try. I mean, all you need is a saw, bro. Mm. Wow. Wow, my mouth, yeah, my mouth. Oh my god. I'm goodness. drooling here. I'm just waiting on your eyes. Mm. That short rib is magical, everybody. The short rib falls apart in your mouth, everybody. It is absolutely incredible. I'm not gonna say it's better than Franklin because I respect Franklin, but at the same time, I say it's better than Franklin. Bro. I say it's pretty close. It's very close. It's better like, than Franklin. Like like touching, if not, you know. Anyway, Mama, what do you think? Oh, he's going for the part that he just took a picture of, huh, Mama? Yeah. Uh, I can see what you're doing, Mama. Uh, that's why she took a picture. He wants to remember that. No, it's easier to grab that one. Yeah, yeah, that's okay, Mama. You dig in. Let us know what you think. Oh. Mm. Better than Franklin, though. Better than Franklin. There you go. Better than Franklin. Very soft, very tender. The searing that we did outside, it gives a little bit more texture, so you know it changes a little bit on your mouth, rather than just being everything completely falling apart. But the inside, you don't need teeth to eat this. That's that's what it boils down to. What about together? We want to know together, Mama. Delicious, together, even better. Get a little shrimp. Let me know. No, bro, I put it with a tail and everything. Mmm, mmm. Both of them together is just delicious. They're going, the sauce over here, it's amazing. It's amazing! All right, everybody, as you can see, Ninja is almost ready for the second one already, so we gotta better hurry up with this video. But anyway, like Mau Mau said, giving a nice sear in the end because it's still together. I cooked it for a very long period of time in a lower temperature. Normally, I cook it just completely falling apart, but for me, this texture is absolutely perfect almost like a steak but at the same time i can't consider it a steak because it's just falling apart completely yeah what kind of texture are you talking about <laughs> yeah the texture i wanted to do a little bit more versus all you know like shredded it's not shredding it it heals this texture but as soon as you bite on everybody it just melts in your mouth so i absolutely recommend you cooking it this way if you don't have any teeth should do this. Uh, it, this is the recipe for you. And if you don't have a smoker at home, remember I already showed how to smoke without a smoker. You can use anything. You will get that wonderful smoky flavor on it, which is very, very important, by the way. Anyway, guys, these are the results. I hope you guys enjoyed this video. If you do enjoy this video, make sure you give it a thumbs up. If you're not a subscriber, be sure to subscribe for future videos. Remember, if you are interested in anything I use, everything is always in the description down below. Thank you so much for watching, and we'll see you guys on the next one. Take care, everybody. Bye-bye. If you want some smoke flavor in your life, call Emilio. He's selling some smoke over there. Love you. What do you mean? Emilio is selling smoke. Of what? What do you mean of what? Like hickory, apple, whatever you want, bro. He has them all. He has them. He even has mango. I don't know about that, but okay. Yeah, he sells that thing, man. He's selling smoke. He sells everything, bro. That guy sells everything. Ask the Google guys, is this better than Franklin's? Say it, bro. Say it, bro. I'm a polite person. I will not say that, but I think you know. What do you mean? What do you mean by that? They know. What do you mean by that? <laughs> what is it? They know. Ha <laughs>